Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a wet shaving. There are two types of manual razors out there. Straight razors and safety razors. Safety razors are further subdivided into double-edged razors, single-edged injector razors, cartridge razors and disposable razors. Double-edged razors are named to because the blade they use have two sharp edges on opposite sides of the blade. Currently, multi-bladed cartridge manufacturers are adapted to differentiate themselves by having more or fewer blades than their competitors, each arguing that their product gives a great shave quality at a more affordable price. And we now perform this not with an old type safety razor, no, it's a modern. Um, it is a dispose saver razor. And we need more. We will need a little bit of this liquid. This liquid will produce a foam on our skin. And this is good for our skin because you have to get some things to do before you can start shaving. First step is take water and wet your beard area for approximately five minutes. This will make your hair a little bit of fluffy and better to shave. It's not so hard and will not not so much harm you if you're going to shave it. Before shaving the area to be shaved is usually dust in warm to hot water by showering or bathing or convert for several minutes with a hot wet towel to soften the skin and hair. A lathering or lubricating agent such as cream, shaving, soap, gear, foam or oil is normally applied after this. So first step we have done. Now it's wet and it's ready for the cream for the for the shaving soap or gear. Now we have a little bit of foam. Moisturizing the skin to be shaved helps prevent irritation and damage known as razor burn. Many razor cartridges include a lubricating strip made of polyethylene glucose to function instead of or in supplements to extrinsic agents. It is also lifts and softens the hairs, causing them to swell. This enhances the cutting action and sometimes permits cutting the hair slightly before, before below the surface of the skin. Additionally, during shaving, the lather indicates areas that have not been addressed. When soap is used, it is generally applied with a shaving brush, which has long soft bristles. It is worked up into a usable lather by the brush, either against the face in a shaving mug, bowl, scuttle or palm of the hands. Let's start shaving. Things get some more likely when using safety razors and straight razors. Wet shaving is generally done in more than one pass with the blade. The goal is to reduce the amount of hair with each pass, instead of trying to eliminate all of it in a single pass. This also reduces the risk of cuts, sorenses and ingrown hairs. Allen blocks and styptic pansons are used to close cuts resulting from the shave. But now we start shaving. As you can see, we are sliding the blade 
um, over the skin. And with this, we are going to release the hair immediately. Here is a big beard. That means you have to go twice and another one and another one until all the skin is cleared from the hairs itself. Meanwhile, if you are going straight of the skin, stop it after a couple of um, slices, then perform a little wash up of the blade itself and then continue. Continue so often um, until your your hair is removed. Do this in one direction, in one straight direction. Do not go in another direction because then you can harm yourself. So, but you can see it's really easy as you can see. Both man and woman sometimes shaves their chest hair, abdominal hair, leg hair, underarm hair, pubic hair or any other body hair. Head shaving is much more common among men. It is often associated with religious practice. The armed forces and some competitive sports such as swimming, running and extreme sports historically head shaving has also been used to humiliate, punish and show submissions to an authority. And in more recent history also as part of fundraising efforts, particularly for cancer research organizations and charitable organizations which serve cancer patients, the shaving of head Hair is also sometimes done by cancer patients when their treatment may result in hair loss. But here we are only um, shaving our skin on our bird area, as you can see. But you can do this, perform on each other area on your body. It's really easy and it's wet shaving. That means the result is really nice and it is comfortable because the mm, the hair will cut nearly at the skin's area and not like if you're using an electronic razor there is more distance between the skin and the cutting area or the cutting point of your hair. That means there is more hair left on your um, your skin than the, um, the wet shaving process. It's a better effect as you can see. So you can see nice result. Oh yeah this is really awesome. But now to prevent of problems with your skin irritations etc we are going to med it um, perform now it's dry with a towel and then used aftershave aftershave is a product applied to skin after shaving traditionally it is an alcohol based liquid a splash but it can be lotion gel or even a paste i'm using here a spray for it I spray it on my skin and it prevents me from problem and skin irritations. That it is how to make a wet um, shaving. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon soon.